A kind boy buys food for his favorite teacher's hungry kid. He never imagines that as a result of his selfless act, his life will be transformed. Zack pressed his hands over his hot eyes. Why did everything make so much sense when Mr. Parker explained it to him? The truth is that Zack was just too tired. He'd arrived home, cleaned the house, made dinner for his mom, made sure she took her meds, and now he was finally doing his homework. After all, Zack put his books away. It was no good, the letters danced in front of his eyes. He knew that on Monday, Mr. Parker would be disappointed once again when he saw the test results. Zack was a poor student. He knew it and there was nothing he could do about it. His dad passed away seven years ago when he was just four years old. His mom had been devastated, but she'd rallied. She'd sold their house and they moved into a more modest home. Zack and his mom had settled into their new reality, but one day something terrible happened. Zack's mom was diagnosed with a degenerative condition. Little by little, her physical condition deteriorated and there was nothing doctors could do. There were new revolutionary treatments in Europe, but they couldn't afford them. As Zack's mom became more limited by her condition, it was the 11-year-old who had to take over running the household. He went shopping for groceries and paid the bills. He even learned how to cook. Zack took care of his mom just as his mother had once taken care of him. On Saturday morning, Zack headed to the mall to accomplish the week's shopping. He bought what they needed and decided to stop by the food court for a snack. He joined the line at a popular hot dog stand and was delighted to recognize Mr. Parker ahead of him with a little boy around four years old. The boy was complaining and tugging at Mr. Parker's jacket, telling him he was hungry. Hey, Mr. Parker, Zack said. How are you? Mr. Parker turned around and smiled. Hello, Zack. Ready for the big quiz on Monday? Zack shrugged. I don't know, Mr. Parker, he said. When you explain it in class, it makes sense, but when I look at the books, everything just disappears. Don't give up, Zack, Mr. Parker said kindly. You'll get there. I know it. At that moment, Mr. Parker reached the end of the line and he ordered a hot dog for his son. Mr. Parker nodded and reached into his pocket. Then he frowned and put his hand in his other pocket. Oh, he said, I'm sorry, I think I left my wallet at home. The server shrugged and Mr. Parker said to his son, I'm sorry, Davy, but I'll get you a hot dog next time. The boy started crying. But I'm hungry now, Daddy, I want a hot dog now. Please, Davy, Mr. Parker said nervously. Please, Daddy hasn't got any money right now. Zack had never seen Mr. Parker look so helpless and he decided to take action. He took his money out and slapped it on the counter. I'll pay for the boy's hot dog, he told his server. He took the hot dog and handed it to Davy, who was still crying bitterly. Here you go, he said. These are my favorites, too. Davy stopped crying immediately, and with a mouthful of hot dog, he couldn't complain either. Mr. Parker looked at Zack with gratitude in his eyes. Thank you, Zack, he said softly. I know Davy seems a little spoiled, but he's... My wife passed away just three months ago. We're both struggling with it. I didn't know, Zack said, but you've been helping me after school. I want to help you, Zack, Mr. Parker said, and I think something's holding you back. What's wrong, Zack? So Zack poured out his story about his mother's illness and the treatment in Europe that they couldn't afford, and they both ended up shedding a tear or two. Life can be difficult, Zack, Mr. Porter said, but when we help each other, we make it easier. Thank you for helping me today. That's okay, Zack said, smiling. I'm always glad to help. Aren't you going to get yourself a hot dog, Mr. Parker asked. Zack was embarrassed. Well, I only had enough money for one, he explained. But I think Davy needed it more than I did, him being so little and all. Mr. Parker and Zack went their own ways, and at school things were just the same. Neither of them said a word about their conversation. Then one day, something extraordinary happened. A big car pulled up in front of Zack's house, and Mr. Parker and the school principal stepped down. They sat in the lounge and explained everything to Zack and his mom. After your kindness to me, Zack, Mr. Parker said, I spoke to the school principal and we started a GoFundMe page. We've raised the money for your mother's treatment in Europe, Zack. More than enough to take care of you both until your mom's back on your feet. Zack turned to his mom and he threw his arms around her. He started sobbing. Mom, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna walk again, Mom. Mr. Parker and the school principal smiled with tears in their eyes. Then Mr. Parker cleared his throat. Well, Zack, I'll be expecting you for extra lessons three times a week. We have to get those grades up. Yes, Mr. Parker, Zack said, smiling. I'll make it, sir. And he did. His mom returned from Europe with her health much improved, and Zack's grades did the same.